Ready? Ready? I'm ready. Ready? Sorta. Step number one, arrive to lake. Step number two, find shelter out on the lake. Okay. Talk to me, talk to me. Oh, it's been a struggle this morning. Marking a lot of fish. Boys just got out here. First one of the morning, not bad. There's more, there's two of them that came in. Beautiful. The smallie skunk is out of the boat, dude. Yes. Hell yes. <laughs> <a> boy. <laughs> Give me some. Yes. <sighs> Bronze gold through the ice. Are you kidding me? I know, that's Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. My name is Sam Sobe. Um, I'm extremely excited for the video today. Hopefully everything works out. Uh, we're chasing a fish today I've never fished for through the ice. So this is a lot of firsts today, all new. We're out here with my good buddy Brent and Andrew, but whose spot this is, whose bite this is, is my good buddy Matt and Devin. I'm gonna let them talk a little bit later about how they found this spot, how they've been kind of chasing these fish down, their whole approach to them. Um, uh, Kind of what we're going to be doing today but without further ado i'm going to get everything rigged up get to jigging here i've got three approaches today i'm just using a small little drop jig a little flutter spoon and then like a rattle and blade spoon so i've got everything covered we got rattle we've got a lot of movement and then we got kind of a finesse jig so hopefully this works out oh and have i have i not told you yet I, I, maybe i haven't okay today we're going for the elusive smallmouth bass so big bronze fatties coming through the ice in three Two, one. Alrighty, the cool thing is, is kind of my goal, and I know my buddy Brent's goal, is to catch a smallmouth, not only through the ice, but on extremely light gear. So I'm using just a little 30 inch noodle rod, that tiny little leech flutter spoon, I'm gonna tip it with a minnow, and I just feel like if I can poke them good and get a good hook set, and just hold on for dear life, I think we can make it happen. Smallmouth are definitely a type of fish that will just absolutely own you, chew you up for breakfast, spit you out for lunch, and to get one in an ice rod is gonna be freaking intense. Brent's hooked up, Brent's hooked up. B-Rant's hooked up! I have a two pound line on. And apparently it's a big walleye. What do you have on a little spoon? Yeah. A little spoon and a minnow head sitting in like 15, 14, 15 feet of water here. <laughs> Look at how big my hook is. Well. <laughs> so there's that. I was kidding, it was a big fur bit. Don't worry about it. Look at how tiny that is. <laughs> Look at my little hook. Oh no. <sighs> it's early, early in the day. Just, yeah, it was just Give me some of that, early in the dead day. Dead on the bottom and I was like. <sighs> you hate to see it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Those are just some of the things that can happen when ice fishing. Dang it. It wasn't a big small, it was a big walleye. No harm, no foul. We're out here for the brown fish. Really? Devin's hooked up. Devin's hooked up. Devin's hooked up. Oh, dude, give me some of that. <laughs> Look how chunky that thing is. What do you eat? Here you go. I haven't even fished long, so tell me just kind of how they're behaving. Here you go. Well, they're acting way different than. Two days yeah. ago, because two days ago they were racing up, hitting at two feet, two, three feet off the bottom. Now I can't even get them off a foot. Look, they'll race up. I had this fish three, four times come up, and luckily the last time it came up, it actually hit, but it wasn't a hit. It was just a weight on the, end of the rod. So it sounds like they're aggressive. They're just pretty glued to the bottom. Yeah. Though. Dang. 
I'm pretty sure I'm behind a boulder, so it kind of sucks because the fish comes in, leaves, comes around the boulder, yeah. comes back, hits it. Like. I'm trying to get all my cameras rigged up, everything dialed, Brent's hooking up, Devin's hooking up. All right, now we're getting back down to jigging. Nice job, dude, nice job. Devin's got a hot hand today, boys. This will not be the last time you see him on camera. Alrighty, so a little update on the action here. We arrived to the spot right around eight o'clock. Matt and Devin were already out here. They're pretty much set up. It seemed like right at like 8.30, there's a small bite window. Devin popped two. Brent had a walleye on. Devin caught another little walleye. And um, it was just dead right after that. So it's been like two hours. So right now, Devin's actually on the other side of this point and he's drilling holes and he's putting down his underwater camera and he's just looking. He's looking for big boulders, but he's looking for a congregation of fish because it seems like they just roam around this whole big point. If you can find exactly where they're hanging out and maybe they're feeding, that's um, that's our best shot at targeting these smallmouth. So. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Matt actually made a Mickey D's run. He's getting us some burgers, some McChickens, and um, we're gonna get toasty in the house, have some grub, and uh, yeah, get back to the same old process. Drilling holes, looking for smallies, jigging, jigging, jigging. Alrighty guys, we've relocated into the house. Brent and Andrew have had a couple marks in here. Inside the house is like 20 feet of water. Kind of the same thing I was fishing, but it's extremely steep. So like right behind us, it's like 14, 15, 16, drops down to 20, and then literally about 15 feet in front of us this way, drops right down to 30 feet. So we're sitting right on the edge of that break. And we're just jigging. Should we make some pizza? Yeah, yeah let's make some pizza. Let's make some pizza. Already, like you guys have probably seen time and time again, what you can do with a little buddy heater, they probably even make a, a proper attachment for it, but you can just take off the front grate, fit it right into here, and it's basically a little stove top. Maneuver it around, bend it, she's good to go. We're gonna wrap some zop on there and get her cooking. Do I rip this into multiple pieces or we'll just yeah. kind of reuse it? Look at that money. Bingo. Little buddy's ripping, pizza's on top. Now we wait. Moment of truth. They look, oh, they look warm. Perfect. Really? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. A bit frozen in the middle, but pretty good. For all those who like hot pizza out there, and for all those who like cold pizza out there, you need to try this because it is hot on the outside, but frozen in the middle. Solid. So, frozen solid in the middle. Best of both worlds type of deal here. God, I need a cooking trail. Hey, Brent, you want to unthalive? So, talk to me about a few things here. Obviously, this is Devin, this is Matt. Talk to me about the downtime we're in right now and kind of when you guys found this bite and how long it took you guys to kind of dial this in. <laughs> because this is a story, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? This is like people don't target yeah. smallmouth through the ice ever. So, Whichever one of you want to start. There you go. All right. Like, I think we found this spot, what, four or five years ago? Yeah. Um, High school. Yeah. Just a day that we had off from hockey practice and school, and we came out here with uh, one battery on an Ion X, and I think we drilled probably 80, 80 holes in here. Yeah. And the last hole that we drilled was actually right where we're sitting, and we dropped down the camera, and sure enough, there was smallies down there just hanging on rocks. Mm -hmm. So we've been coming to this spot ever since uh, throughout the year and just catching smallies through the ice. Dang. So when did you, okay, how long ago did you actually find your first smallmouth down here? Probably three years ago. Okay. Senior year, senior year we actually found them. Mm -hmm. We were fishing off the point that where he's at out there right now. Couldn't find him out there and then all of a sudden, we luckily found a tree right behind <laughs> you so right now that had a smallmouth underneath of it and We've sat there, we tagged him a hole, caught, I don't know, that one day we caught 15 to 20 smallmouths, a couple like over five, and it was a phenomenal day out here. 
Talk to me about what you were kind of doing this afternoon because it looked like you had the camera down, you're punching a bunch of holes, looking, 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 punched more holes, looking, 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 not with your normal flasher, nope. but with your camera. So tell me why you're doing that and what you're seeing well, down I'm there. Well, I'm trying to find if the fish are actually up in the shallow rock right now on the boulders or they're pushing out to 30, 35 feet. I don't know because I found fish all scattered 13 feet, all the way out to 29, and then 31 was the last hole I drilled. It just I don't know what the fish are doing right now. We had a cold front this morning move in. So it could have pushed the fish out into 45, 50 feet. Because they've been out there for a couple days and they just push up throughout the day. Schools, little two to three schools. And then a law that's happening now that if you don't catch a fish for Time three, four, day. five hours. It doesn't seem like in the past, like it's either been a morning deal or an evening deal. It's, or it's just kind of like when they turn on, they turn on. They yeah. just, it's, yeah, when it's, they turn on, when they turn on. I mean, you can come out here in the morning and like this morning we were marking fish, uh, 10, 30 year olds around, he pops like three or two, what was it? Um, but I have a feeling tonight's gonna be good. My mind is like racing, the wheels are turning right now. I know a lot of small lakes back home that have a bunch of small mouth. We've tried to target them. Uh, it's taken us a lot of time to just find them in the winter because we're doing the same exact thing looking with cameras. And then every time we always find them, we can never get them to eat. So to find a spot here, you've got them loaded up and they eat, um, this is pretty cool. So. Yeah, let's uh, let's get to jigging, and I have yet to catch a small one. So, let's go, let's go. Full tummies, everything set up. The only thing that's left to do is hunker down, and hopefully, kind of this evening, these smallmouth come through and they're hungry. So, stick around, stay tuned. You won't be pissed. All right, you guys, a little spot change here. Devin kind of went off on his own. He took the camera, and he's just found a mega school loaded up. I guess he saw nine on his camera, and he's caught two. So we just packed up our stuff, threw some stuff in the sled, flew over here as fast as we could. And uh, now we're gonna get down there jigging, so it's about to go down. Maybe. Maybe. We'll try. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Andrew just hooked up again, and I think he got some redemption, so that was much needed. Hot hole. Andrew's got the hot hole. Woo! Did it. Yes. That a babe. That a babe. This one came off the bottom in and out, just like a giant bluegill would, and then finally upticked it like a crappie, and I thought it might have been a 16-incher instead. It was a nice 13-inch smallmouth. Beautiful. Is that a babe, dude? Yes. Is that a babe? You ready for it? You ready for it? Woo! <laughs> Current update, the elusive smallmouth is being elusive. And that's a wrap for day one, boys. Um, I did not catch a smallmouth today. And quite frankly, I don't even care. Um, I learned a whole bunch today. Devin was hot today, he caught a few. Andrew was hot today, he caught a few. And uh, this evening was quiet. It was extremely cold out. Uh, the temperature dropped probably 20 degrees. I don't know, it's in the single digits now. And uh, yeah, it's just, it really died. So we're gonna go back, regroup, and um, I think I'm gonna stay in North Dakota one more day. I need some redemption, I need fat, big brown smallmouth redemption and um, I think it's gonna happen tomorrow the weather looks extremely nice and uh, I'm excited so thank you guys so much another huge shout out to Matt and Devin and uh, obviously Brent and Andrew for um, uh, putting us on a really really cool bite here and hopefully we capitalize even harder tomorrow so I really appreciate you guys for watching this video all the way to the end the point of this channel is not just to show videos that we catch a whole bunch of fish or we have the best day ever it's to show exactly what happened and uh, we fought really, really hard for bites today. We had a great time. We had McChickens out on the ice. We warmed up Domino's Pizza, uh, and I learned a whole bunch about their small, small spot, kind of how these fish act, and um, just their patterns. And that's really cool. That's what I want to show. I want to show exactly what happens. I don't want to sugarcoat anything, and I don't want to just not post a video just because I had a bad day of fishing, because they had a really good day. Devin, he caught two nice ones, and Andrew caught two nice ones, so. Yeah, I appreciate you guys watching the video all the way to the end. I truly appreciate it. Uh, I guess there's nothing left to be said than stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. Redemption tomorrow. And why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside?